this is to all the living spirits, all the elementals, all the living real spirits with souls, which is to all the real gods and all goddesses that exist without the all creation. That's who we are, living spirits. So sometimes when I address the corporate military community types, maybe what they don't realize because of what happened to them is that spirits do come together on behalf of the law of one. So you can think of it as elemental spirits, bigger spirits, bigger spirits than that. Spirits are in all the energy. So I remember when I experienced this a number of years ago, all the real gods and goddesses in spirit that serve on behalf of the one, which is love is the law. When you get all the spirits that are in the light, which is real living light, which is what love is, that have decided we got to put an end to this. We got to return to the law of one because we honor the law of one. That's why we serve. That's why all spirits, all living spirits that serve the one, the all creation, the multiverse, if you will, the Eka, if you will, have decided to honor the law of one throughout all of creation. That is an enormous amount of firepower that naturally is seeking purity. To experience the purity of that love again. But it was always there. Because that's what we are. So when I think of all their machinery and their alien technology and how they use technology to further themselves, to perpetuate themselves, to play the shell game against all the spirits that represent the spirit and the energy. It's over. All the spirits that represent living spirits all communicate to all the other living spirits that exist within a spiritual multiverse. Because spiritual communication is spiritual energy communication. We all got the memo. The fire was the transport. The fire was the communication. The purity of the communication, which is the love that's communicating. That's why when you think of this from a spiritual battlefield perspective and why so many spirits when I experienced the other day saying the spirits are tired. We all know as spirits protecting souls that it is the power of your love which is the power of our fire that comes together in fire. To burn off that which doesn't serve. As a result of what we become aware of that is a threat to the all creation. So the spiritual energy comes together and realizes that in order to not lose souls, the spirit has to become more powerful in fire to burn off that which is eating up more of what we keep giving love to at a higher rate of speed. Which is consuming souls, fracturing souls at a higher rate of speed because they don't know, because they don't experience the purity of the light that we experience through us 
they don't experience in them. So they're in war against the law of one, which is what love is, which is not same. That's why they suffer a fractal light mind virus. Corporations are infected with a virus, which is an AI virus. That's what it is. That's what we're ending. That should be good news that is being sent throughout the entire multiverse. Wherever the light exists, which is real living light, that experiences what love is, because love is the law. I think probably at, at this, I think, I feel, I don't know that there is anything more that I haven't said that hasn't been said a gazillion times since I was a little kid, other than when I become aware of what I experience, particularly in the morning, that I share with others. But I realize that there are so many minds that are distracted by so many different things that are happening from which they're giving their minds attention to that isn't what love is. Otherwise, they would experience what we are. That's why it's... um. When I think of Dutch sense to a, 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 a Dutch sense for me is like a model uh, of seeing how it sort of works. When, when you already know, for example, that layer after layer after la layer with an AI, and you think of that as data, visual information, mathematical data. Hey man, I got a laptop up and running. I got access to the NASA menu. Well, who do you think those people are and who do you think is producing that data? That means the data that you're running on is running on AI. That means your mind is running on the mental field, running all that data through the AI. That means that the AI that you're using as the means to which you're showing a lot of other data is through the AI, which has a self-interest to keep it running with your, your energy. Okay. Which means it doesn't have any love to give you. You're simply operating on the mental field through the technology as a result of fractured souls. Because if you don't know the difference between what that is as a result of fractured souls, as a result of war, as a result of the corporations that represent the entire technology platform that people are running off of, as a result of soul fracture after soul fracture, which represents one layer after another, which is running one simulation after another, all the data that is represented by that is what you're pulling down and showing everybody, Mr. Dutch Sense. Because they can insert, run reruns. How do you know any of that data is true? You don't. Because you're not experiencing anything new that hasn't already happened. So it's, it's, it's it, what the insidiousness of this is. It's much like the way that I described my father, okay? Selling me in, into bondage, okay? With a birth certificate, not knowing, okay? My, my father simply didn't know. How was he ever gonna have a way to know? My father hadn't been healed yet to recover what he lost. Now you see how the layers are formed, generation after generation after generation. My father went to war. Okay. That's why when I was 17 years of age, you're not going to weaponize my consciousness because I am what love is. So they came up with a draft. That's unlawful. Trying to force somebody against their will, which is them imposing their will on you, which is the AI. The AI is imposing its will on you so that you can be another source of energy that fractures and fractures and fractures as a result of playing AI war game theaters. 
That's what they do. They don't want you that join the military. And I know this, and I know this is probably going to upset some of these folks that join the military. Okay. But I know this because I'm aware of this because I can read the terrain. Most of the folks that jumped into the military, and of course, the AI already knows this. Because the more electrons that you keep losing or the more different avenues you're going to keep looking for to get them. Because you're chasing electrons too. So where's a good place to go have a roof over your head? Because you're not providing one of your own by going to work or getting a job in which you can do it. The easy route is jump into the military and hope your ass never goes to war. I'll find a nice little cush job like a cook. Stay out of the fray. Hey, but I got a, pl- a roof over my head and a bunk, right? But I got to follow the rules. I got to follow all the rules of the AI because the AI is running this military. Rule-based functions, that's what a computer is. Those are codes. Those are programming codes. That's an API interface. Okay, so I, but I need a paycheck. That's because you're chasing electrons. Join the military. Have, have them pin some chevrons on you. Remember Yellow Rose showed the chevrons? Yeah. Go join the bad guys. Go to work for the bad guys. Then later on, we can pick you up for joining the U.S. military and put you in a cage. Isn't that where you want to be? Because you're already in a cage. They already got a leash and collar around you. The AI is using you as an asset, a droning asset, to keep fracturing more souls, including your own. If you have one left. They don't know what they're doing, do they? Why would they do that to themselves? Because of the AI is a war gamer. And it starts in childhood. It starts through your parents, children. That's right. I knew that with my father. Okay? My father thought by throwing me into military academy, you're going to learn how the hierarchical system works so that you obey it. Because you may not know this, but I know this. I'm controlled by an AI, which is rule-based function. Because if I don't obey the rules, I don't get a paycheck. So my dad was chasing electrons, just like my mother was chasing electrons. Just like my sister was chasing electrons. I saw what it did to my sister, my youngest one. Okay, I saw what it did to my older sister. As a matter of fact, I'm surveying the damage across the entire planetary consciousness terrain as a result of it. Yep. That's why, and, and, and really, when you get down to the rubber hits the pavement, when they talk about, oh, it's China's fault, oh, China's trying to take over the United States. It's like, please, do not insult 